guys I got and welcome to magic so in this video I'm going to show you something uh, seriously cool so here I am in uh, hub.acer.com there's a link in the description of this YouTube video if you want to reproduce what I'm doing now and um, basically what I am going to do is that I am going to create uh, a complete full stack web application uh, based upon uh, SQLite uh, database with a web API, a complete Angular front end, uh, approximately some 25,000 lines of code in total. And more importantly, I am going to do it in five minutes. So I've now created a Cloudlet. So Cloudlet is basically like a VPS-ish, except it's like not. Uh, however, uh, for all practical concerns, from your point of view, it's a VPS. So uh, enter your Cloudlet, go to Tools, uh, open Plugins, and here is a new um, plugin called Dista CRM. You can have a look at its uh, README file, or you can install it. And uh, basically, what it does, it uh, simply creates a database for you. That's the entirety of the thing. And in fact, you can go in to SQL Studio, you can choose the database immediately, and you can immediately start uh, changing it. Let's say, for instance, if I uh, want to have an additional field for my employees, uh, being, for instance, I don't know, Instagram, okay, data type, var char, nullable, okay, create. So I've now created an optional field called Instagram for employees, important, have that in mind uh, later in the video. Now I can go to the CRUD generator and I can uh, choose this database and I can clarify all tables, uh, which uh, didn't entirely work. Uh, let's see why. Module already exists. Let's try again, clarify all tables. So the system produced 1,756 lines of code for me. And I now have an, uh, a complete uh, web API backend. I can go to uh, endpoints, I can filter on uh, ista-crm, and I can immediately start invoking my HTTP endpoints. So the system produced uh, approximately 50 HTTP web API endpoints for me. Each of these endpoints are secured. If I try to get accounts, for instance, now I'm authenticated as a root. So it works if I open up an incognito window and I try the same, of course, access denied, etc. Then I want to go to the CRUD generator and then I want to create a front end. At this point, I want to call my front end uh, ista-crm. I want to use the template called Angular and important, check off this. Uh, that is going to be <laughs> an important feature, 15th of August, which I don't want to uh, speak so loud about quite yet. Uh, so let's ignore uh, that part after having checked it off. And now I can choose light green, for instance. I can choose light or dark theme. I can choose which uh, components and modules I want to be having a support of my front end. And when I'm done, I click generate. And that's it. I now have an Angular project. If I delete the zip file, only check the unzip file, you will see here. It's a complete Angular project with uh, components called dice underscore CRM with one uh, mo uh, folder for every single database table in my system. So let's compile this guy. CD, ISTA, uh, and let's open up Visual Studio Code in case we want to have a look at its code after we have started compiling it. Let me just make this uh, bugger slightly smaller. Then open up the new terminal and type npm i which of course uh, installs uh, uh, the uh, relevant um, uh, npm uh, things that is required in order to have my application compiling. And now we can actually look at the code. So you can see here, uh, it's a fully functional Angular project. Uh, it's based upon material tables, ng containers, you know, it's uh, got some, you know, form fields here, et cetera, et cetera, TD, TH, and, you know, tables and all that beautiful stuff. Uh, the code perfectly obeys by every single lint standard. Once npm i is done compiling, then every single bug in this file will disappear because we'll actually find the relevant uh, modules. Uh, you are free to, of course, modify the code as you see fit. I mean, it's perfect code, literally. I am not kidding. 100% perfect code, both according to neutral metrics such as uh, 
uh, lint, TS lint, or, or an angle or best practices, etc. etc. On the project, this uh, npm i is done, type ng, sir, dash dash port 4201, for instance. Uh, this, uh, of course, compiles the Angular code and serves your project. And uh, here you can see it's got a mobile uh, window for editing um, entities and creating new entities, etc. etc. And then when the code is done compiling, uh, you can go back to uh, Chrome, go to localhost, uh, column 4201, and here's your project. The way it looks like when you come here is like this. So you're going to have to log in with your uh, username and password and realize this goes towards, I mean, the, the backend web API goes towards your Cloudlets here, uh, your, your whatever URL of the cloud that you happen to have, which you can see here, I'm logging in, authenticate here now, goes towards um, goes towards um, my particular cloudlet here, uh, test-poltergeist.de.ace.com, because I chose the German uh, cluster. And here we are. <laughs> I have now created a fully fledged uh, CRM system. And if I now want to, I can start adding employees, okay, Thomas Hansen email at aista.com and as you can see here Instagram right remember we added that field to the database before we codify the module then we can go to accounts we can create the Akma Inc choose a status okay this is a lead account manager Thomas Hansen then we can choose contacts okay John Doe choose an account Akma Inc blah 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 uh, then we can create an activity and so uh, give that activity a mate meeting with John choose an activity type meeting description nice meeting and of course at this point I can turn this into a text area if I want to because I have the angular code right I can associate that activity with uh, for a contact John Doe obviously and an employee or more one or more employees and there we go <laughs> And uh, of course, the system provides all CRUD operations towards every single table in uh, in uh, uh, my database. It, uh, let me see if I get the time figures here. Obviously, created has a value, so when you are CRUDifying uh, the the database, you might want to go through stuff such as, for instance, activities, and you know. Uh, explicitly remove created fields from create invocation, which will just automatically make this text box basically disappear. However, the system takes care of types and, and everything you can imagine, really. And I've now created a full stack uh, CRM. <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure about how many minutes I used, but I probably used way less than five minutes. Anyways. Uh, that's it for today's video. There's a link in the description of this YouTube video to where you can uh, register uh, at uh, Hub and reproduce uh, what I did in the video. Obviously, you're going to need uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, Node.js and Angular locally installed on your own machine. Besides from that, there are no uh, dependencies uh, required. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.